Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech One, and today we are going to do the review of the Honor 50. And the Honor 50 is the brand's first GMS equipped smartphone since gaining independence from Huawei. And uh, Huawei uh, sold off its Honor sub brand last year, allowing the latter to forge out uh, as its own independent company. Importantly, the move enables Honor to revisit old partnerships such as Google and Qualcomm, which are sorely lacking from some of the brand's re uh, recent releases. The Honor 50 series first launched in China is making its way to global market this month and it will be the brand's first phone to land for global audience with the Google services installed um, since gaining its independence. Although Honor and Huawei may be separate, um, may be separate in titles, their, um, their intertwined legacy remains evident across the Honor 50. We'll get into that later but let's dive into what Honor can do with its new phone control and directions. First of all, let's head to the design of this phone. Yes, as you go for the design on this phone, it's a special edition of the Honor Code colorway of the Honor 15 and it's actually having a very good design and although I am not exactly what the statement is, I'm not exactly sure what the statement of the design is but I think it's very good and I like it. So uh, it comes in colors like frost crystal, emerald green and midnight black and and our colorways too. So the phone's camera is housing is equally eye catching, although again not necessarily good in ways. The two large circles or symmetrically dual ring, as Honor calls it, actually hosts the four cameras and a flash. There is a 108 megapixel large main camera located in the top ring and three smaller apertures for two megapixel depth and two megapixel micro. So. In total, almost 4 megapixel. It's mad, right? So, an 8 megapixel ultra wide cameras in lower range. But we can also get to know that the whole full 150 review, if we take that into a closer look, we'll get to know what the shooters can do. As we know, it's actually having a very good design, and also, I'm not sure about the symmetrical design, but it's good. Uh, as Huawei made 40 also was having about a symmetrical design. You will also find 32 megapixels of uh, camera for the out, out uh, cutout for the display, and there is no really larger than Samsung's Galaxy Scrap. And also for the front facing cameras, it does take pretty good selfies, and also it's having a very good package or display package boost, like which is from 2340. In 2080 or OLED battle with 120 hertz refresh rate, well, for a battery smooth um, animation and scroll. So, this is also said to be having a dynamic out of the box, which also sets to 260 hertz and regularly to save on power. And there are options to lock in either so, either 120 hertz or 60 hertz mode in settings. You should prefer so the panel looks good to the eye although it perhaps not quite bright enough for the flawless outdooring review or uh, viewing and even the brightness cranked all the way up still the build quality is decent for a more uh, affordable handset and slight and thin in the hand owing to the predominant use of what feels like a plastic and the power and volume rockers over offer a sturdy and satisfying click and set neatly into the lovely curved chassis that frames the edge of the phone the dual speakers sound okay, but the bulk of the volume and emanates from the bottom of the handset, producing um, what sounds like a lopsided presentation. And there's a responsive and display fingerprint scanner, but no IP rating for dust or water resistant um, in this phone. And early impressions of the Honor 50's design suggest a bigger focus on the style, also, the package isn't exactly lacking sub substance either. However, there's a clear a few corners being cut to keep the price down. Just please, please, don't buy the special edition, um, the colorway, unless you really love the blink. Now let's head to the software, and um, the software you get the return of the Google story. So. Yes, so now as we go for the software of this phone, we are going to know that this software is actually a very good software. And as we know that the software is also can be like the return of Google. 
so i'll be saying that in detail man so if you have used or or like if you guys have used a reason honor or why smartphone you feel wide at home with the honor 15 magic uh ui uh 4.2 software based on android 11 although we are not or i am not sure why the phone does not come with a honor newer magic ui 5 software which basically is available on honor magic 3 which finally arrives also the honor notes are uh, that we're not running the final software on this phone yet yet some of those you what you read here could well change by the time we read uh, we are ready with our full review so while honor and UI may be going in their separate ways magic ui has hasn't meaningfully changed for a little while now and is still imbued with many features of the old partnerships setting menus quick toggles navigation gestures and even selections of workwear are identical to existing smartphones from either brands like samsung apple and many other ones great differences between the two uh, are clearly going to take longer to manifest and still magic ui is very functional with plentiful or plenty of extra settings to dive in such as display configuration various power settings and also wireless projection cable capabilities yet the ui keeps out of the way well enough to avoid feeling bloated now we will be knowing about its core specs as we all need to know that Another benefit of the Honor's ability to do the business with the Western companies is that it's able to buy the chip from Qualcomm again and packs an upper mid-tier Snapdragon 778A chipset and there's little to complain about when it comes to the Honor 50 um, performance based on our, uh, the, uh, the test uh, which was done and um, the chipset isn't built to offer cutting edge plus performance but it's as solid as the best chip from a year or two ago and um, so there is uh, there should be a plenty of performance on offer when paired with a 6 8 or 12 gb of ram and we can't finally talk about the benchmarks until it's running the retail software but sufficient to say that the day-to-day -day apps such as chrome email and the access sing, uh, source, uh, social media all run silkly um, smooth and we have been running the 6 gb of ram model and even this is sufficient for multitasking and switching back and forth between a, a few apps didn't cause them to reload the chipset is also a reasonable gamer tool running the call of duty mobile without any hitches and stutters charging is fast providing you use on a bundled charger Speaking of speed, the Honor 50 ships, ships uh, uh, with a 66 watt charger in the box based on its proper uh, supercharged technology. It's blazingly fast even running on the pre-production software, topping up the phones to 50% in just over 10 minutes and 75% in about half an hour. And we will have more detailed figures as we go ahead. So. Um, the honor you uh, on uh, however you want to misplace the bundle brick the honor 50 is much slower to charge when using the third party plugs and we couldn't obtain more than 10 watt using a selection, a selection of other chargers and it's also worth noticing that then honors charger um, still uses an old usb type c connectors and include a usb a to usb c cable in the box now let's talk about the general specification uh, in a tablet form so that you can get a little more easier way how uh, this phone is uh, looking like and how um, what is uh, this uh, what this phone is having the display processor RAM, storage cameras battery ip rating software dimensions colors and security so let's see let's go with it so as uh, my puzzle said we will be doing more and more about this one of 50. so if you guys have not known that it's actually mentioned the processor of this is actually Qualcomm snapdragon 778 5g and with a ram of 6 uh 6 gb which can extend to 8 gb to a 12 gb ram and also storage which is 128 gb to 256 gb the quad camera there are quad wire cameras which is having 18 megapixel 8 megapixel 2 megapixel which is macro and 2 megapixel which is a uh depth and also an 8 megapixel ultra wide 80 180 megapixel wide and also there is a front camera which is having a 32 megapixel as this is old or uh, g set IP rating is none and the battery is a 4300 mAh 66 watt, uh, watt wire charging and also software which is ships with Arrow 11 Magic UI 4.2 dimensions which is 160 into 73.8 mm, into 7.88 mm, 7.8 mm, 175 grams. The colors can also include emerald green for 
push to midnight black and all color code as mentioned earlier and the security which is the important part of this phone which is face recognition and in display to look at scan so if you guys like our video subscribe like comment share, and turn on notification because you guys still get exclusive content and entertaining videos and also interesting facts facts about phones mobiles laptops and airpods extra so you guys will be lo loving our videos and also support us more so we'll give you guys entertaining videos that's all my name is jonas my name is john we are tech world and we'll see you next video until then stay safe and goodbye, goodbye.